<laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, if I can get the damn mic fixed up right. Anyway, this is Rusty78609, and you should be able to test, test, test. <laughs> Dang it. I get tired of people telling me they're deaf. But anyway, here I am in Capitan. You recognize this stuff behind me? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do. It's like being home. I thank you very much, Carolyn, again. You devil you, but good luck with your car and all that stuff. No, this is a really nice place. I love this place here in Capitan. And uh, yeah, it'd be, be easy to live here year round if it wasn't so cold in the winter. And actually, I may be able to handle the winter because it seems like every time I go to a cold climate and the humidity is low, that it, I don't seem as cold. You know what I mean? Like when I was in Mongolia and when I've been to different places where it's really cold, uh, the, the low temp, I mean, the low humidity seems to make all the difference. But anyway, here's to you, here's to me. Mmm, good stuff. Notice there's one over here too. Mm -hmm. You ever have a day where at beer 30, it just the beer just tastes really good? Well, this is one of those days because I've been busier than a fire ant, man, I'm telling you. I mean, I got here, I went and washed my little, I went and washed Sparky, got it all cleaned up. And then what else? I swept this patio, pulled some weeds, uh, leveled up the RV. I still got to do a little better job on that. And uh, yeah, I've done a lot of things. And uh, uh, what, well, there was a hailstone crack in one of the headlights and I got super glued that crack so that'll keep that from getting water in it. What does that have to do with RVing and me being in Capitan? Not a damn thing, but I'm here and it's beer 30. Oh, and I got, I got groceries, or I got me some stuff from the deli. I got some meatloaf and it's delicious. And then they make some, uh, God, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a Mexican food. It's like uh, menudo, but it doesn't have the tripe. They call it something else. And it's really good. I just tasted it a while ago because that's going to be my supper. And I uh, also got some uh, pork uh, tips, barbecued. They call them something, too, and I can't remember. G gorditos, I believe, or something like that. But I got some of those, and most of that will go in the freezer. But I got enough food right now for two weeks. No kidding. No kidding. And that is freaking awesome. But anyway, yeah, I went walking around a little bit. The area looks the same. I mean, you can see the, all that stuff that I put there a year or so ago is still there. I mean, I, why would anybody want to steal it? I have no clue. <laughs> I wouldn't want to steal it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, been a beautiful day. It's still a beautiful day. Uh, there's just a slight wind out of the, looks like the west, maybe northwest. And uh, yeah, the sky is perfectly clear where I am here now finally and uh, temperature is 62 degrees what it says on the phone and when it says it on the phone you know that's true you can't argue with that that's that's total facts you know if Google says it or the weather says it it's carved in stone so see I'm holding the mic how courteous I am for you people that are hard of hearing and uh, yeah but anyway yeah I looked around here and no this is this this is good man I, I really like this and I'm glad Carolyn worked with me on this thing yeah it works good for both of us you know it's a win-win I hope and uh, yeah yeah I'll clean some weeds up and stuff I'll get some of that uh, roundup or something or weed killer maybe I might use some uh, vinegar and water and stuff see how that works but, yeah I've got it uh, I, I'm set up man I've been busy as a bee I got here uh, uh, New Mexico time uh, to the uh, site here about 1 p.m. I think and uh, yeah, but I ain't slowed down. I mean, I just been steady at it, and that's just the way I am, guys. I just can't stop. <laughs> you believe that? You believe in a tooth fairy? Maybe I don't. I don't work. I don't hurt myself. But no, this place looks really good, man. I mean, I, 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 if I could figure out a way to live here year round, I'd buy this thing back from Carolyn and and go on down the road. But you know, I mean, how does that fit in with my plan plan to live on the road? It doesn't. But I'm always dreaming. You know, I'm always looking at the next page. Or trying to read the next page before I turn it and that's hard to do man that's hard to do you know you can't really see the future K sera sera but I just wanted to give you a heads up have a beer with you what day is this this is Wednesday we'll probably do this a few times during the week why I don't know why because <clears throat> I don't really have much to say it's just uh, sitting here and uh, uh, enjoying this beautiful day and uh, hoping you're doing the same because uh, life's moving, guys. Life is moving on. And, uh, but this little town here, population 1600, hadn't changed a bit. Uh, I drove around uh, just a little bit to check it out. Uh, there's a few things that it looks like they're building that are new. But overall, I'd say that it's 99% the same. You know, of course, the library's open now. The 
you know, as far as the mask and stuff, that turned out to be a non-issue. I stopped in Roswell, got gas, went inside, no problem. And uh, also went and bought groceries, no mask, no, no problem. You know, it's, it's the same way it was last year. You know, the ones that want to wear the mask do. And the, the ones that don't, don't. And that's, that's good. You know, as long as we'll go with freedom of choice, I'm fine with that. And uh, we're good. So, yeah, this is, this is working out good as far as going somewhere else from here uh, later on. I don't know. Uh, you know, if it ain't broke, man, it's hard to fix it, man. You know, this is so good, I man, because I can get up in the mornings and I know some places to walk around here. Uh, I mean, I can walk to the post office. I will get a P.O. box. I'll do that in the next few days. And, uh, that's, and that's another issue, sort of, in that uh, the address here is 411 West uh, 2nd Street in New Mexico or, or Capitan. And if you guys, so any of you guys are in the area between 4 and 5 p.m. New Mexico time, you know, drop by and, and we'll have a beer and talk about how wonderful we are but uh yeah it, it uh but getting a, a p.o box it's free if you have a, a local address and, and i do this 411 west seconds fine and so yeah we're good to go with that and uh and but don't don't mail anything uh to that address because i don't know how it's going to work yet but what i was going to tell you was getting a package is a really strange thing because if they ship it ups or fedex they deliver it to your physical address most of the smaller items, they ship to they ship U, USPS. Well, then that's delivered to the post office, whether you have a PO box or not. They deliver those packages to the PO box, and uh, so you know, even if it has just your street address on it, it goes to the PO box. And so you have to go by there and ask for your packages occasionally. And they're usually pretty good about, uh, you know, I've never lost anything for sure. So it's just a different kind of way to do stuff, I guess. So. Because USPS doesn't deliver uh, to, well, I guess they do too. They deliver to physical addresses that have a mailbox. So that's how that works. But be that as it may, uh, yeah, we're in. I've got electricity. I don't have water. Uh, I don't have a sewer, but that's not a problem. Uh, there's a dump station nearby. Actually, I could dump it here in this sewer, and I'm, I'll probably do that because it's still active. And uh, I may do that. But it's just gray water. I don't use the black water at all, so that's a non-issue. Uh, so what else can I tell you? It's just lovely here, man. I had this place fixed up. It was a 10, wasn't it? You know, yeah, I made a few bucks, but you know, you, you, you get something and you lose what you had, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this is this is uh, really nice. I really feel good here. You know, it's 62 degrees, a little breeze, not much. And I still feel nice, you know what I mean? I feel very comfortable. Of course, you know, it's uh, low humidity. I don't know what the humidity is. I'm say it probably in the single digits, maybe double, I doubt it. But, yeah, everything's uh, still right there. The old Di DiGiorno uh, freezer thing is right over there under, my, under that little semi-cover. And, yeah, I opened it up, and there's still the garden hose in there and some other things that I put in there. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, really like coming home. It, it's like uh, coming home. I have to admit that. I feel at home. And, and the girl at the deli, uh, the, the girl that's been there for years and cooking in the deli, Hell, she was glad to see me. I was glad to see her. Why? Because she's a good cook, man. And she fixes up good stuff, you know. And it's not so uh, salty that, you know, it gives you indigestion or anything. So, uh, yeah, it was, it, it was just, it gave me a chill. You know, I walked in and she said, hi, you know, like real friendly. You know, you could just feel it, you know, when somebody's really glad to see you and not just blowing smoke. And, uh, yeah, that made me feel real good. That's a good start to getting here. And, and then there's another girl that worked here. I, I, I remember her, but... I don't know if she was on full time or part time when I was out here last year, but yeah, there, the, you know, the people, <laughs> one of the checkers at the grocery store, you know, she remembered me and and I gave her a big compliment. I told her how pretty she looked and how young she looked, and she does. She looked really nice, and uh, yeah, so it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, there's good places to eat if you want to eat out. I don't eat out much, uh, but uh, you know, and also they they at that deli, she said, I said, you still fixing pizza? She said, yeah. So, and they make a pizza that weighs about four pounds, man. It's a big old goodness. She puts everything in the kitchen on it. You know, you have to tell her what to take off, you know. But anyway, having said all that, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a beautiful day, what a day to arrive, man. What a day to arrive. It is five by five, and I'm still alive. Hallelujah, dogs. Yeah, and my motorhome is so nice. You know, everything's, you know, it's just that you pull up here, you know, hook up the electricity and you're home. That's it. You know, or if you got water, you hook up water. You know, and it's so nice, man. 
and after all that driving, it's just a pleasure to be in for however many days I want to be in, I guess. And uh, yeah, as far as going and getting water, that's not a problem because I've got a 50 gallon tank. I have a source of uh, uh, water that I can either drive the RV to and fill up the 50 gallon tank, water tank, or I can just get uh, three or four or five gallons at a time in, in a uh, plastic bottle. But, and that's not a problem either. You know, just make it part of the daily routine. Just, you know, go over and get some bottled water or whatever. I may do that because, you know, rather than cranking up the RV and doing all that stuff, you know, which is not much, but you know, why fool with it if you don't have to? Because I use four gallons of water a day, and that's uh, that's everything. You know, well, actually, yeah, yeah, four gallons is is all all the interior stuff, and about two of that is uh, 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 shower or about one and a half because I don't use much water taking a shower. I just, you know, do a real quick thing. And so, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've said that about 50 times too. Look upon my wealth, ye mighty, and weep. Boy, I'm telling you. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I've said that about 10 times too, haven't I? Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, buy, buy, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. And also, let me drink a beer here and I'll get with, on with the rest of this. Mmm. Man. You know, there are certain days that beer just tastes better than others. And this is one of those days. I mean, this is one of those days that I have a feeling I may uh, go past the uh, normal limit, which is none. <laughs> but anyway, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. Stand guard at the door of your mind. And uh, enjoy your life, you know, any way you can, man. Whatever it takes. You know, sit outside like I'm sitting here. I don't have, I mean, when I get through with this video, I'll go in and start it up. And then I'll come out here and sit for another hour or so. And, and just think about... Uh, you know, things I need to do, want to do, and how I can keep the old adventure going. So anyway, thumbs up, guys. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until next time. Comment, call, or this video. Adios.